we're going to do a bit of a series. I've decided to do a series, and the series is going to be on, I think, physical pain. I think we're going to use the physical pain one for a little while because a lot of people have pain in their body, and we're going to do Qigong exercises to help get rid of the pain. Yeah? And we're going to start off, we're going to do a couple of them and get rid of, get rid of a bit of physical pain out of our body. Yeah? So we're just doing the warm-up exercises, eh? So this is the sinew stretching relax method, the sinew relaxing method. Yep. And you do this by moving a different part of your body. So I'm moving my elbows and letting my wrists just hang. So we, we, we're focusing on relaxing one part and by moving another part of your body. So I'm not using my wrist to move like that. I'm actually using my elbows to move my wrist. So my wrist can just relax. So I don't have to do anything with my wrist. So the, relax, the relaxation happens inside the, the passivity of not moving any of the organs. So, so we do our elbows. And I'm doing my elbows by moving my shoulders. Yeah. So with our elbows, if we do our, do our circles with our shoulders, I'm doing that with my shoulders, not my elbows. So I'm moving my arms, my shoulder around to move my elbows. And you know, then if I do that, I'm still using my shoulders. Yeah, I'm not moving my arms. So I'm moving my body to get the arms flicking from side to side. I get my arms moving to get the elbows relaxed. Yeah, very good. So do the shoulders. And do the shoulders, I'm using my hips. So move my hips to move my shoulders. Very good. And these circles with my hips. I'm not moving my arm. My arm's just hanging, hanging down by it's just by itself. I'm just moving my arm. My arm's completely empty. And I'm just moving my hips. Eh? Very good. Do the other side. Very good. And do circles. Move back the other way. Cool. Very good. Do our head. Just letting your head flop forward and backward. So it's nice and relaxed. Side to side. And big circle. I'm now moving my hips to do this. My hips are moving, and I just letting my neck move forward and backward by itself. Just relax my neck, move my hips. I'm not moving my neck. Move back the other way. Do our spine. Now we're moving our hips this time. Move our spine. And we're trying to those muscles on side of our spine. We're trying to let the muscles relax. Move backwards and forwards.
So Rebecca, we're on uh, YouTube now. We're streaming live on YouTube. We're not using Zoom anymore. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so so go go on um, go on to YouTube because we're we're not streaming on YouTube you Zoom anymore. I've just got it on so I can see what I'm doing, but we're actually not streaming live on here. We're stream we're streaming live on YouTube. Just go on to my YouTube channel and you'll find it. And it's your it'll hit. Yeah, and you'll and you'll see it's streaming streaming live now. And just click on it and you'll and come back in the other end. No problem. Cool. Now we're going to do our, our, our spine. This time we're going to keep our hips still and we're going to move our shoulders from side to side. And when you do this, you'll feel the spine twisting from side to side and you're trying to relax the spine. And as I say, the focus is on moving our shoulders and our spine not doing anything at all. Our hips not doing anything because our hips aren't moving. Just the, just the shoulders are moving and you'll feel the movement in your spine and just try and relax your spine as much as you can. So there's two muscles that run down either side of your spine and all the vertebrae, trying to, all the ligaments and tendons that hold them in place. You're trying to just relax by using your shoulders to get them to move. Yeah. Good. Now we're going to move our knees, move our knees from side to side, and let your hips relax. Yep. I like this set. I like this set of relaxation exercises uh, more than just the standard stretching. I do the standard stretching as well, but there's something about when you relax part of your body and move it by something else, it's, you get a you get a better relax. You get a better stretch on it. Yeah. So now moving your hips. I do my knees. I'm, I'm doing my knees in the circle and relax my hips. Relax the whole body. But I'm just generating this movement by my knees. And then go the other way. Can we go forward and backwards? Very cool. So now we're just going to change our focus and put our focus into our hips now and get our hips to move and relax our knees and our ankles. So now we're moving our hips. So it looks the same, only that my mind and my focus of where it's coming from is different. And so then I can feel my legs, my knees relax, and I can feel my ankles relax, and I can feel this moving inside the joints. It's great. And forward and backwards with the hips. Up the other way. Very cool. Just let your foot flop. Use your knee, and then your knees and your hip, and your knee to flop your foot. Love this exercise. Very good. There you go. The whole body relax. And so this is a short inversion anyway because we're doing a class, but normally we'd do this a lot longer. But today, because as I say, we're filming, we don't want to do spend too much time doing that. So today we're going to do pain. We're going to do wrist pain, wrist and hand pain. Something quite common today that happens lots. So we'll just bow into class first. Roll back onto your thumbs. Bring your right, your left hand underneath, right hand on top, two thumbs together. Gong, make a fist with your left hand, cover it with your right. Bring it towards your heart, then down to your physical center. Very cool, and then step to the side. So welcome to Qigong Live Online. Today we're doing the pain, pain for the wrists, pain for the wrist and pain for the hands. As I say, it's a common thing we have today, the 
wrist pain, hand pain. A lot of it's got to do with them using the mouse, of course. And we get RSI and all sorts of things with the wrist and the forearms and things now. That's quite a common and people who write a lot, they get the same thing. So Qigong has lots of good exercise that actually help move the energy and move the blood in your hands and take away the pain. And so you can relieve the pain by doing some simple exercise and we're going to do a few of those. The first one we're going to do is we're just going to do some basic stretch, hand stretching to start off with because a lot of the, the, the pain in Chinese medicine comes from blockage. It comes from the energy being blocked and it's not moving and, and when the energy doesn't move it aches or when the blood's not circulating and when the blood doesn't circulate it aches as well. And so either of those two things is what we're going to do today. So the first one we're going to do the stretching. Now, so we, we just did the stretching before when we're using our elbows to let our, our wrists relax and do these and do circles with them. And this is a great way to let the, just so your wrist is just hanging down. So then you're moving all the tissues and all the ligaments in there without any pressure. But when we do this one, when I'm, when I'm doing this, now I'm using pressure to stretch something inside the body. So I'm actually using its own pressure, it's like doing that and doing that. I'm actually using muscles and ligaments to stretch itself, which is counterproductive really when you think of it, because I'm trying to let the muscles, the ligaments relax, and I'm actually using muscles and ligaments to stretch. So that, that's why this is such a good exercise, because you're not actually using... You're not actually using anything in the in the wrist at all. You're using this, your elbow, and the wrist can just hang, and you can just use your elbow. Yep. But for this one, we're also going to do the stretches as well. So stretch one way, stretch the other way. Yeah, do one side, do the other. Good. You're going to turn your wrist around. Turn your wrist. Go the other way. The other side. Back the other way. Good. You're gonna gonna invert. You have to kind of grab the hand. It's like wringing a towel. And you grab the towel and you twist your hand around. You turn it around that way. And the same like wringing a towel out when you're twisting the towel out. You're doing the same thing with your wrist. Twist it that way, and then twist it back the other way. Good. Twist it around. You can feel this twist right up your forearm as well. And then twist it back the other way. Good. Then rub your palm. Go start from your, the base of your base of your palm and go up towards the fingers. So you can go up between the metacarpals, which is the bones that travel inside your hands, because the fingers extend all the way in through your hand. They go right along. And so you're actually going in within the grooves and the gaps between the metatarsal, metatarsals all the way up. Metacarpals, metatarsals, click the right word, good, do the other side, the metatarsals are in your feet, better not put my feet in the wrong place, good, and just rub those to get it moving, good, now do the top of the hand, do the same thing, in between, in between the bones, the two bones are in, go in between the bones, and just get the energy and the blood circulating there. Go between them. You'll get this if you go to get a massage. People do this when they massage you as well. This is you're doing it for yourself to get the energy and the chi moving. And in between your thumb and the finger. Good, other side. Between your fingers. If you've ever had a hand massage, hand massages are a very, very cool thing to have if you haven't already had one. Just the hands, nothing else. And they do all the joints of your fingers. We're going to do some of them ourselves, and they do what we're doing now. It's a very, very beautiful thing. And after your hands feel all alive, it's a very, very cool feeling. Good. Just shake out a bit of tension. Now we're going to do our thumbs. So also, there's lots of joints, of course, because there's so many bones, and there are lots of, lots of working parts inside your hands, lots of places where the blockage can occur. So we're going to get our thumb, we're going to move it. So we're moving the joint, our thumb joints, and we're moving the one at the tip of the, the joint as well. Same with the finger, we're moving all the different joints, the three three joints in the finger, of course. We're moving the first joint, second joint, and then the last one. And go both ways. Next finger. Knuckle and the other way. And then the last one at the end. If you did these exercises every day, I mean I quite often would do this, especially if I'm working on my computer, I'm typing and things. Because they get stuck, they get they, you get um Monofunctional, how's that's a great word, isn't it? 
where you're only doing the tip, you're only doing one movement with the th finger. You're not doing this. You're just doing that. And all it just does is goes like that the whole time. And it, all the muscles are used for just one direction. Where in actual fact the finger does multiple directions and it does all sorts of things. But when you're only doing that, then it just trains the muscles. It's like anything you do in your body. You build muscles for any sports just for that particular sport. But if you go and play another sport, you've, you've developed the wrong muscles for it. For a difference between a cyclist and a, well, a swimmer. Different muscles you're using and you, you develop those muscles for that particular activity. So what we're trying to do is when we're doing our fingers, what we're doing now, is keeping the mobility to go always, not just the typing up and down, or the phone thing with your thumbs, whichever way you want to type, because I'm not sure how you do it. Everybody has their own method. Did the other one too. It's great. It's really hot today. It's one of those stores. It's a little bit of breeze, but it's really hot. And I think there's a bit of rain yesterday. The, the ground's wet, so it's a lot of humidity today. She's very hot here in Bali today. It was a hot day. In traditional Chinese medicine, your, your whole body's inside your hand. After that, they call it um, chinisan. No, they call it ooh, Chinook. It's got a name. It's a, it's a very based, a uh, Korean-based practice where they do the whole body. And this is like your head. This is your thumb. And the two, two middle fingers are like your feet. And the two other fingers are like your hands. And this is your head. And you can track the whole body through these points. And the same joint that's on your feet, on your fingers, is the same joint on your knees. So the middle one's the same as the same. So it's like that. These are your two knee joints. And these are your two ankle joints at the bottom. And they acupuncture these points. And it gets to the whole body. It's like a microsystem inside the body. And as I say, it's quite popular. There's lots of people I know that do that in Korea. I have friends who practice it. They use little tiny needles because, of course, the hands are quite sensitive. So they use really small, tiny needles so that it does most of the pain. But, but it works. It's incredible. There we go. So now we're just done the warm-ups of the hands. And we're going to do some exercises from different systems that use the idea of activating these hands. There's a few different exercises that do this. So we'll go over a few of them. The first one we'll do, we'll go into the... Heaven to Earth. The Heaven to Earth, the very, very first exercise in the Heaven to Earth is an exercise where it stimulates all the, because we have three meridians that come up the back of your hand. Well, they come up the back of your hand and three meridians go down the, mm, better get the right, yeah, they come down. The three come down, three come down on the inside of the hand and three go up the outside of the hand. So we have six meridians in each hand. And so part of that is about the stimulating by doing this exercise. It's going to stimulate the energy that's moving through your hand and through the meridians as well, yeah? And it's called Kulfa. Kulfa is a, a very famous part of Twain Our Message. Twain Our Message is the Chinese message, how they massage. There's lots of different techniques. And Kulfa has a particular technique, which is the, like, slapping. Yep. And we're going, to start, we're going to start from the top, yep? And so we know that the meridians, they go down. They start from the top and they come down. Sorry, they come down the inside and they go back up the outside. Yep, so we're going to start from the inside, we're going to tap down, and we're tapping down the yin meridians and then tap back up the yang ones. If you want to know what they are, on the inside we have our lungs, yep, our pericardium, and our heart, and we have our small intestine, san jiao, and large intestine on the top. There we go. So we're activating all the energy to move down the meridians, yeah? Now, if I, normally if I'm going to do a set like this, I'd usually do a set of either three, six, or nine. We'll probably do six today. And this is the sixth one, this one. And my focus is when I'm slapping my hand, is to activate the energy inside my arm. So when I'm hitting, my mind is in my hand, sending energy out my hand into this hand to move any blockages in the hand. That's my intention, yeah? If I go the other way, coming down. And activating the two in the meridians. Activating the blood circulation and out the outside. Mm -hmm. 
and with with twenty, the more the more your hands relax, the more this arms relax. You don't want to have a st stiff arm that's relaxed. The more stiff it is, the more energy comes out of it. The more energy gets into the other arm. So it's, it can be quite quite painful doing this to yourself, like beating yourself up. But it has a great effect, eh? Yeah, that's one. Good. So that's from the Long Life Qigong system. It's one of the exercises. There's quite a few different sets of Long Life Qigong exercises. There's a particular exercise in it. So now we'll go to an exercise from the Heaven to Earth, which is which I was going to start with, but I've decided to do the other one first. We'll do this one now, the Heaven to Earth. So how we do this is we're going to bring our feet together for a start feet together and you have your hands and what we're going to do is we're going to revolve it we're going to rotate our fingers i'm going to do a little finger they're going to follow each other and we're going to turn around so it's like doing that and then the fingers come up so we're doing them both at the same time little fingers start with your little fingers roll with your little fingers all the fingers follow the little fingers and turn around and as they and then it comes up and you do the same thing with your feet because you're doing the same thing with the metatarsals and your toes as well and then lower yourself down yeah then with your fingers turn comes up and then lower yourself down good so with the hands so you can feel the stretch in your fingers stretching your fingers as much as you can you feel like all your fingers are getting really long and then relax your fingers comes up and then bring the energy back down again good sit rotate your fingers comes up and then lower your fingers down rotate comes up then down. Good. Rotate little fingers. Comes up. We're going to do this nine times. Come down. Rotate little fingers. You can feel those fingers stretching. You're stretching your finger and then relax them when you come up and relax them on the way down. Good. Feel the stretch. Comes up. Comes down. Stretch your little fingers. Comes up and come down. Very good. Stretch another fingers again. Comes up and then comes down. Very good. Another one. Stretch come up and then come down. We we'll do one more. Eh? Good. Roll the fingers. Comes up and then comes down. Very good. Very good. So set your step and put your feet to the side again. Good. So now we've got our fingers. Now because we did the warm-up exercise, now you'll feel your hands. And if you look at your hands, they'll all be red and blotchy. And that's because we've increased the chi and the blood to the hands. And you'll feel your hands should be nice and warm now as well. And so there's a lot of circulation gone. We've stretched it. We've got the chi circle. And now we're just energizing it. And so we're going to do a couple of, couple of different ones. So there's lots of ways that you can with the energy and with especially with qigong there's a couple of different methods where you project the energy down their hands one side in this case it will go down the, the yin side and then it turns around and goes back up the outside so it doesn't actually leave your body so as i say the energy goes down the three meridians on the inside turns over your fingers and then comes back up the outside and that's the normal flow that it does that way and the other ones is it just goes straight down either the yin and goes out through the fingers where it goes down the yang, which is color flowing, and goes out through the fingers too. So there's different exercises to do both of those, and all of them create the movement of chi and blood through your body. One does an internal, where it's an internal uh, circulation, and the other one where it goes out and then it comes back in again. Yeah. So we're going to do a couple of exercises of each of them to show you what that looks like. We're going to do an exercise from whew, which one we use? We're going to use the one from the Bhagwan Jin, and the exercise, and it's called drilling fists. And it's an exercise, and I'll show you what it looks like first because because it's a bit little complicated. There's a couple of parts to it. I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll go back and break it down so you can see how it is by pieces. Yeah, and we're going to do it with white. We're going to do a wide stance. We'll do a double horse stance. We'll bring our knees out. When you do a double horse stance, bring your knees out towards you, so your knees are above your toes. You don't want them inside that way. You want them out that way. Yep. Yeah? And then sit down. When you sit down, make sure you tuck your pelvis forward, 
and then relax. I'll turn around so you can see that. So when you sit down, don't have your bum sticking out. Sit straight, take your bum forward, and then relax. So you want a nice straight back here, so your back straight. And then once you've, once you've tucked it, make sure you do relax afterwards. You don't want to hold the tension by holding it there. Tuck it forward, and then relax. Good. Then bring it, turn your hands, and with the same thing again, rotate, rotate your fingers around, and then pull your fists so back on your hips. Now you have two fists, and they're upside down. They're upside down with the fingers on the top, and we come forward. Now we're going to use our right hand first. The hand comes forward. I'm going to mirror you. This is the right hand. Come forward. Good. And when you finish the punch, it's a punch, the symbology of punch, but it's not really a punch. The arm's not straight, so you don't have a straight arm. It's slight bent, so I'll turn around so I can see what I did that as well. So when it comes forward, it comes forward, but you don't straighten your arm. It comes forward and it stops just before it gets straight, so there's a slight bend in your arm, yeah? You don't want to lock your arm up. You want to have it bent so the energy can keep moving. The hole's at the top, top of your fist, yeah? Come back around this way again. Top of your fist. Then you're going to open your palms. Then you're going to turn your thumb. You're going to rotate your thumb down. And we're going to do the same movement with the hands that we've been doing before. The fingers, little finger, little finger, little finger. Roll them all the way over. Make a fist. And now it's a loose fist. It's not a tight fist. And as it comes back, the other one comes out. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Same thing again. Make sure it's not straight. Holds at the top. Open the fist, thumbs up and face into the air, then rotate your thumb down to the centre, all the way over, then turn your fingers, all the way over, upside down, then come back. Good, and the other one's going to go out at the same time. Very good. It's a great exercise. Open your hand, thumb goes down, rotate the fingers around, upside down again. And it comes back upside down, the other one comes up upside down and turns it over to there. Good. Open the hand, thumb goes down, rotate the fingers, turn it over. Very good. We'll do this first. I'll show you the breathing for this in a second. We'll just keep practicing this for a second if you haven't even done this exercise. But we'll do the we'll work out how to do it physically first and then I'll give you the breath for it. Rotate the thumb down. When you try to take the thumb down, the elbow's turning. The whole arm's turning with the elbow. As the thumb goes down, it's not just the just it's not the hand turning, the whole arm's turning. And then as they come back, it turns the whole arm comes back. So you're rotating from your wrist this way. Yep, very cool. Open your palm down. Wrists. Yeah, very cool. Open your palm. Down. Rotate. Back. Very good. Now, I'll give you a bit of detail of what's going on in this in a second. Rotate, turn over, come back. Very good. Open your palm, thumb down, turn your hand, pull back. This is a great exercise for taking pressure out of your hand. Good, I'm going to do one more and then I want to talk a little bit about the fist. Rotate round and then come back. So this is a good exercise for your wrist and hand pain. So just take a breath there, just shake your legs out a bit if you're standing horse dance and you're not used to that. So with the hands, when we make a fist in Qigong, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a solid, it's not a, 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 a gripped fist. It's not hard, it's actually relaxed. The fingers are still touching the inside of the palm. Your thumb's touching the second finger, like that, yeah? and it's relaxed, but the hand's relaxed, it's soft, it's a soft hand. It's um, the old days. They the masters used to you put a put either a stick or but they I think my sometimes you see people putting chalk in there, but they used to use a stick in the olden days, and they used to punch and that without breaking the stick. And if you because if you got a clinched fist and you punch, you'll break the stick. So they had to be learn how to punch with an empty hand, because if the hand's empty of physical pressure, like if you clinch the fist, it's physical pressure. It's muscle. It's a muscle fist. But when you relax, it becomes an energy fist, and then the energy circulates. But as soon as you cl clinch the fist, it stops the energy circulating. So as soon as you relax the hand, then the energy is now circulating through the hand, and they wanted a, an energy hand. So it's a soft hand. Yep. So when the hand goes forward and comes to the front, it's a soft hand. Then you open the fingers. Then you turn it down. And all of this is happening with a relaxed hand. It turns, relax, 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 turns upside down. Back to holding the fist again. But now the fist is still a soft fist again and it comes back soft. So the fist, you never get a tight fist, a grip fist where you're all the forearms pumping muscles. It's a relaxed hand. 
and inside that relaxation the energy is circulating but this particular exercise it's, it's it has a unique piece because it has both both the circulation and the release of the energy because as it goes forward because the fist is clinched the hands are clinched the fingers going around and then coming back on themselves they come back inside themselves so it goes down down the inside of the hand and circulates around the hand and then comes back again so it circulates around and then comes back up the arm so this is a, a unique thing of this this particular exercise when you make a fist energy goes flying down the hand starts circulating energy around the hand and you get this ball of energy you've seen it in the movies and you've seen cartoons they have the ball of energy but it's a true thing because you can actually feel the ball of energy around your hand and it circulates around your hand it circulates clockwise if you want to know the technical detail, details of that and as it circulates it does that but as soon as you release the hand now my intention changes and now the energy goes out through my fingers and out through my thumb so it lets it go so it's like a pressure it comes out all loaded up spinning with the energy around it and as soon as i open the hand it lets it go the hand relaxes or the hand energetic relax remember there's no tension in it anyway but the hand relaxes and as soon as you do that the energy starts coming out of the fingers and out through your thumb yep then when you turn it over it's still coming out through the fingers you turn the hand over and then you close it back down again and then the hand the energy starts circulating in the hand again and it comes back and it stays here on the side with energy circulating around here and that's what's happening with the hand so this is this idea of inside the relaxation where we're moving with, with side as, as relaxed as possible and even when the hand goes forward we'll just go back and do that a couple more times even when the hand's going forward the hand goes forward there's a relaxation in the arm as well there's no muscle tension we're trying to do this with energy we're trying to move the arm with energy yep, so this, the, the arms relax the shoulders relax the hands relax open the hand and then it opens the pathway for all the energy to go out through the fingers yep i'll do that from the side so when from this way it goes down circulates around as soon as i open my hand it goes down and goes straight out through the fingers and then when i turn the thing down turn the hand over now it's locked back up again now it's circulating through my hand again bring the hand down the other one goes out yep circulating comes down the arm circulates around the arm open the fingers it, it releases through the fingers turn the thumb down grasp the energy again thumb and then come back again yep so the, everything to do with qigong is all to do with the intention and how to move energy around your body with your mind to train your mind to be able to move qi or to have control of your energy in your body yeah so this part of this is about learning the functionality of how you control and release energy inside your body and the intention of that so when it's coming forward we have the idea of the energy going down my mind thinks the energy is going down and it's circulating around and, the, and you can feel it doing that and as soon as you release it you can feel the chi going out as well you feel the chi going out and then the thing was when you turn your thumb down the principle now it feels like i'm grasping energy outside of myself i'm grasping the energy in the air i'm grabbing the energy and i'm pulling it back and then i'm bringing that energy back into my body it goes back into my lower dantian so i'm the whole part of the principle of this is that i have this idea of grasping chi it's like grabbing chi from outside and pulling yourself back in grabbing energy because the energy outside of ourselves energizes our body our acupuncture points uh, breathe energy from in and out from our body without us knowing to do that does it normally but what we're doing intentionally so that we can get more energy and so we, we, we absorb it the same with the pores because the pores open and close and release moisture and and they do that and release heat as well as moisture but they also breathe energy in and out as well so the pores breathe the acupuncture points breathe and all we're doing is is we're doing it this mindfully because we know that's what's happening yep. so it comes forward relax the hand energy goes out through the fingers turn the hand down then grasp all the energy turn it over don't grasp too hard though relax your hand and then bring the energy back into your body as the other one goes out the other way good i'll wait just wide the starts a bit open the hand turn the palm down grasp the chi bring it back to yourself the other one goes out very good that looks great open the palm turn the palm down grasp the chi good goes forward we'll do a couple more times open your hand thumb down good grasp the chi bring it back very good there's a martial application to this exercise but we're not going to cover that today but there is thumb down grasp the chi 
come back. Got one more on the other side. Open the hand. Turn the hand. Open the hand. Come back. Good. Put both hands down. And then and come back into the normal horse stance. Good. So there's two exercises. And both those exercises are doing this motion with the hand. We're going to do another exercise from the heaven to earth this time. So learning how to project the energy out of your hand. Yep. This is what's going to happen. Or energy going out and energy going back in from outside. Yep. We'll do... Um, Oh, set the universe in motion, which is part of the uh, heaven to earth exercises. We'll do one of those for us. So we start with our hands facing towards the ground. So you, you notice your hands now are really, my hands are really pink now because of what's been, what we've been doing because it's generated lots of power and I can feel them. And what happens is when you get more energy and, and blood in your hands, they feel like they swell up a bit. So you feel like you have these gloves on, which is a normal thing. It's okay because the energy will just keep circulating. Don't worry about that. So in theory, that you, they could feel a little bit stiffer because they feel like they've swollen, which is a good thing, as I say, but, but just know that I'm, we're talking about having relaxed hands and, and everything's all nice and flexible, but in this case, you might find that they start to feel like they're, you've got big rubber gloves on or big woolly, woolly gloves on, your fingers feel big, but that's, that's normal, don't worry about it, it just keeps it clean. So we start with our hands facing towards the ground, so our palm of our hands is connected to the ground, and we'll take a breath in. Now, as we breathe in, we're going to breathe out through the hands. We're going to breathe in, breathe into the body, from the ground, breathe into the ground, and as we breathe out, we're going to breathe out both arms, and we're going to breathe out through the fingers of both arms, yeah? So take a breath in, from the ground, breathe out through your fingers, down your arms, out through your fingers, and we're going to move the hands to the side. Good. Take a breath in, breathe out through your fingers. Good. Take a breath into the body. Breathe out through the fingers. We did this the other day, and this is how we're moving our arms. We're breathing out through the arms to move the arms. Out through the fingertips. Take a breath in. Breathe in. And then breathe out, rotate the arms. Good. Turn the arms to the front. We're going to do a different exercise. I've just changed the exercise for you. <laughs> it's going to be more beneficial, I think, than the other one. And bring the hands around. As the hands come around to the front, the palms face towards each other, and you'll be able to feel the like the ball of energy between the hands as you come. And then I want you to change the hands to sword fingers, which is two fingers touching that one. The other other fingers are touching the thumb. The two fingers touching the thumb and those two fingers, index finger and middle finger. And then you're going to turn it around, and you're going to put it towards your heart. Good. So this is going to generate lots of power in your hands. So I'm going to show you this this the hand grip so you can see this. I'll turn it over so you can see it. So the, the fingers are touching the thumb, the two, little finger in your index in your ring finger is touching the thumb, and these two fingers are touching, they call it sword fingers, they're pointing towards each other, if you've seen people do Tai Chi form, you'll see them doing the form when they have this finger when they're doing the sword, yeah, and it's common, common, common energetic thing. So what we're also doing is we're also inverting it, so we're turning them back to back, so the back of the fingers and the back of the fingers are touching each other, yeah, and this is the San Jiao and the Perica, San Gio and the large intestine are really not touching each other. And then you're pointing them towards your body. So as you see, if I turn them over so you can see, all the fingers are facing towards my heart. These two are connected and those two are connected. So there's two energy coming out. That one energy coming out between those two and one coming out of these three. So you've got this one and that one coming out of the hands. And they're facing towards each other. Now we link them together. So we've got the four fingers. It's hard to show you that. These four fingers, there's one energy coming out of the four of them and there's one coming out of that, this finger with the thumb, and there's one coming out with that. So there's three points of contact where the energy is coming out your hands. Now, this is going to increase the chi and the blood circulation in your wrists and your hands. Now, when you're in this position, try not to have uh, too much tension in your hand. Have your hands as relaxed as possible, yeah? Very good. And then you're going to bring your hands apart, and then you're going to open your palms, and you're going to bring the hands down. Very good. We're going to do that again. Good. Before you do that, just shake your hands out. Just get rid of the tension. And say, so if you should feel like you have these big clubs at the moment, which is what you want anyway. Yeah. And this increases, say, increasing the circulation through all the meridians in your body. So the energy is going out the, all of, as we're going from here to there. The energy is going in and out through the, the fingers. And when we turn it around, we, we isolate which fingers it's going in and out of. And then we link it up with that other one. And now we, we doubled up the amount of power coming out of going into your heart. But it's all going through the fingers and through the meridians. Take a breath in. 
Good. And then breathe out through your fingers. Perfect. Just relax your hands, relax your wrists. Take a breath in. Breathe out, lift goes up. Breathing out through the fingers. Good. Make sure your arms don't straighten your arms, have them slightly bent. Take a breath in. Breathe out and breathe out and rotate them so they're facing towards heaven. So they face up first. Take a breath in. And breathe out, have them facing towards the front. Take a breath in. And bring the hands around the front. Feel like feel the big ball of energy you can feel now. Good. Then change your fingers to sword fingers. Point the fingers towards each other. Then invert them so they're back to back. And then bring them forward to your heart. Keep your shoulders down. Keep your elbows down. You don't want your elbows tight against your body. And you don't want them sitting up in the air. You want them halfway between. So there's a little bit of a gap underneath your, uh, underneath your armpits. And relax them with your fingers. All these points of energy going towards your heart. Very good. And while you're standing in this position, you can breathe in through the ground, through your kidney points, and you can breathe out through both arms into your heart. It goes out through both arms, out through the fingers, into your heart. Breathe in through the ground. Breathe out down both arms, through the fingers, into your heart. Very good. Open your fingers, open your palms, bring it the surplus chi back to your lower dantian. That's your underneath your tummy button. Very good. And just shake out, just relax. There you go. So there's three the warm-up exercises. We did the warm-up exercises, we did the stretching exercises, the warm-up exercises, and three exercises that are really good to get the energy moving through the wrists. So if you have any injury, if you if you sprain your wrist or if you do things, these exercises are really good for getting the energy and the blood to your hands and help the repairing of the injury. Just remember that if you do sprain your wrist and you do have hurt yourself, just be mindful not to put too much pressure. The pain's there for a reason. The pain's to stop you moving your hand. So if you get the pain, you start pushing against the pain, all it's going to do is aggravate the, 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 the injury and cause more inflammation. You don't want to do that. You're trying to get the energy moving as quietly and as smoothly as possible to help the healing. But if you're going to torture yourself and push pain into pain, it's just going to create more, more reaction inside your body or create more uh, of a reaction or get the, as I say, the inflammation will happen. So don't paint, use pain as a guide of how much you do of these. And as I say, you're doing it just to get the circulation going so it heals itself quicker. Yep. And that's the way, especially when you're doing RSI, when you're doing work with the computers, it's always good to do the exercise with your with your hand. I like doing this, these exercises, of course, but these exercises to get the tension out of your hand, to get the energy moving and the blood circulating. So that's the bone. Bone. So we get rid of all the pain in the bones and, the, and, your, and your wrists and your hands and your fingers. And your hands should right now feel really, really great. Your whole hand should be pretty hot right now. Have a beautiful day today. And uh, we'll see you with the next one. Have a beautiful week, everybody. Roll back. Left hand underneath, right hand on top. Go. Bring the hands towards your heart. Bring the energy down to your lower dantian. Good. Then step back and bow to each other. Very cool. Have a great day, eh? Bye-bye.